Hey there, another week, another video. Today we'll be putting up against each other the 13 best Roblox realistic games to play in 2021. Hi, this is Roblox Olympics and the game is on. But before we head straight into the video, I would need you to answer this question. Which company is behind the success of one of the best RPGs, The Witcher 3, and the recently launched realistic RPG, Cyberpunk 2077? The answer is hidden somewhere in this video. The correct answer will have a shout out from us, of course, on the next video. All right, let's get started. Operation Scorpion. You might be bored already with these dumb showcase games. So yeah, here's a good one. Operation Scorpion is a competitive online shooter with some of the best graphics out there. It's a first person shooter with pretty much every feature of a first person game. Photorealism 4K. Photorealism 4K is a showcase game that will try your GPU's cards and overheat your processors to the extreme. It's based on a condo unit that closely resembles the modern apartments in the cities. Although it's still in development, the amount of screenshot worthy pictures you can take in this game is just something you'll never see in a lot of Roblox games. The Canyon. The Canyon is one of those well-polished games that you never really heard of. This is a showcase game with cars that you can drive and use to explore the canyon and what it has to offer. It looks so good that it's almost similar to a few racing games. The game features a lot of good cars, like the BMW M3 GTR Razor, MW M3 GTR White, Black, Blue, and two others. Untamed Planet Untamed Planet will take you in a vast and really wild life filled with a diverse selection of flora and fauna. This game pretty much makes you roleplay as hunters, scavengers, and campers, which is fitting for its free roam survival and exploration gameplay. What's more, the portion of the revenue earned by the devs in the game goes directly to the wildlife and natural habitat protection groups Wild Ark. Not only you're gonna experience a good game, you're also doing your part by saving the world. Cool, right? QS Energy Research Facility. One of the most unique sci-fi role-playing games, QS Energy Research Facility is binded to a clan called Quantum Science Incorporated. You can explore the game's content by being part of the group, and you can get yourself a role, which you can use to access overall content of the game. Late Night Drive. Late Night Drive is a showcase game where you're inside a car exploring the late night, hence the name Late Night Drive. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what you're going to be doing in the game. You can queue together with three other people in the game, which features an amazing sound design. The game really makes you feel you're inside a car or something. Mist. Mist is yet another showcase game which takes inspiration from the popular movie series Kung Fu Panda and World of Warcraft Mists of Pandaria. I mean, have you seen the very popular Zhang Jiajie Mountains in China? It looks nice in this game. Afterlife. Afterlife is a post-apocalyptic game in which it is the end of the world. Nature is reclaiming its natural order where humanity is almost done for. This game is not just your typical showcase. Rather, it is once you're in, you can choose a narrator whether it's male or female. But why? Because it has lore, of course. The narrator will introduce you to the game. State of Anarchy. The game is a combination of survival, looter, and shooter game inspired by the popular games like Escape from Tarkov, Fallout series, World War Z, and more. Although it's in its developmental stage, in State of Anarchy, you're gonna have to get guns, and what you're gonna have to do is loot and kill. It's a PvP game, so you know what's up with these games. Hedros 2 Hedros 2 is a World War II based first person shooter game made by Enlightened Studios. Although this game is still closed and in development, this has some of the best pre-alpha testing results. As far as my knowledge of FPS goes, this game looks a lot like DICE's Battlefield 1. The game simulates the war between the allies and the Axis powers in their quest for freedom or conquest. The models are still bloxy, but as far as I can tell, these are self-made designs. The texture and 3D modeling of the guns are really, really good. Room 2 Room 2 is an FPS game, but based entirely on the popular arcade-ish shooting game, Doom. It's pretty much a counterpart for the recent release of Doom Eternal on the PC and console. So if you're trying to experience the Doom game without playing Doom, then this game is for you. The Asylum. 
The Asylum is an interactive exploration game where your goal is to uncover the mystery of the abandoned asylum. Hey, it's pretty much abandoned, but it's a horror game where places are abandoned, so like literally unheard of. Let's just say you're going to be playing the Roblox version of Outcast. Velocity Outlast, Downtown Central. Another realistic Roblox game. Velocity Outlast is a racing game similar in that of Need for Speed. The game is quite unfinished, but even though at that state, it still delivers a nice framework and everything that is made out of scratch. This game offers a pretty good atmospheric feel, and the lighting work is insanely good. As good as this game can be, it's still not free. It costs 500 Robux to play this masterpiece. Alright, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy these games. Oh, and don't forget to hit the like button and tick the notification bell and subscribe to the channel. Hit like and comment again if you enjoy our content. Until next time, Roblox Olympics out.